Okay, advanced ensemble violins. So there's a couple things that I want to review in Russian folk song before I do just the run through video for you. Um, so let's just uh, reiterate that we have a four, four time signature. Um, so four quarter notes in a measure and that we're in the key of D minor. So we have our B flat, which is a low one on the A string. Um, so if you can find measure five, um, I'd like to look through, go through this measure slowly for you and give you some pointers to practice it. Um, so we've got our G, so our third finger on the D string. We're going to play two of those and leave it down while we play the B flat G. So you saw how my third finger stayed down and then I just put my B flat down on the A string while I crossed my bow. Okay, and then we'll finish the measure. And that's with a nice F natural. Let's try that measure all together. One and ready, go. So that comes a couple times. So we really need to make sure that we practice that carefully um, and leave our third finger down and reach back for our first finger B flat. Um, so then let's look ahead please to measure 18. So we've got some double stops um, and measure 18. Um, so we're gonna um, practice first, let's just practice the top line. So B flat, C, D, B flat, A. So these double stops are pretty easy. That's all we actually play. We just add our D string along with it. So let's try that. Um, low one, low two, so uh, B flat, C, D, B flat, A with our D string. So your bow should be evenly spaced over the A and the D string. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, okay, and then let's look at measure 23. So in measure 23, we have that bowing that we practiced in our introduction video. Um, so, and this is just a D octave, so we play our um, open D and our third finger on the A string D to, together. So we're gonna go down, up, up, down, up, up. And that comes a couple times too. So those are all measures that I think that we should um, separate and practice a little bit before we try to run the entire piece. 